So we're starting off the morning. First work way into the garage. And what I'm doing here is I am just, well, sometimes I get the milk. It's oat milk. And what I always get, a pizza. So here's the oat milk. Kirkland brand. It's for the calcium mostly. The other thing I get from out here is the frozen pizza. These are the two things I like to eat in the morning. Eat and drink in the morning. Why do I do so? Because the pizza is fast and really easy to eat. It takes about 12 minutes in the air fryer. I'll show you how that goes. So I get the kids to go in first and I don't want the pizza to be cold by the time I get a chance to eat it. We're stop, we're going to the kids' lunches. So you can see my kids' lunches. What I set up is the night before. I already put the stuff that doesn't spoil. My, my son's chips. My daughter's croutons. She likes Cheetos a lot. And a fruit snack. So that's what I have inside before I wake up in the morning. So we're there this morning. It's about 5.35, 4 when I start getting the lunch ready. Alright, so my son, it's been the same thing. Day after day, for many years for his lunch. Let's make a turkey sandwich for him. Toasted bread, put on the mayonnaise. And slice of cheese, and the cheese will change. Don't always use the same cheese all the time. We always get one slice of cheese. In this case, two slices of turkey. Or something similar. Take some lettuce. Now this was pre-washed lettuce. Lettuce we washed last night. Still looks pretty good. Put it in the middle. Then go ahead and close the sandwich. First, he likes to cut straight across in half, so we do that. And that's his turkey sandwich in the morning. So I don't want to prepare it the night before because it's a little too... I want it to be fresher for him. That's why. I don't think a turkey sandwich is as good in the refrigerator afterwards. So now that's what my son has for his lunch. A cup of chips. Turkey sandwich. You notice we're using reusable plastic containers and we reuse them all the time. To save a little on the environment so we don't have the plastic bags. For my daughter, why does she have croutons? Well... Because for her, we're going to take the salad and make a salad. So this is lettuce was washed the day before the same time in the morning. So she wants a little ranch dressing. By little, I do mean little. Get that going. A little ranch. Just that. That's enough. Give her some nice clean tomatoes. Some cheese. Right now we have really small mozzarella balls that we're using. Sometimes it's mozzarella. Sometimes it's uh, Colby Jack. Right now I just give her mozzarella. I take some chicken, not very much, mind you. So we've done many different things for Camellia, for the daughter, for her lunches. For a while, she likes grilled cheese, kind of alternating between a grilled cheese and a turkey sandwich for her. She found out she's finally decided that the grilled cheese just doesn't taste as good after it's been sitting for, you know, four or five hours after it was cooked. So I don't do the grilled cheese in the morning anymore. But well, we got a little bit of chicken, just about that much rotisserie chicken. And that's it. That is her lunch. We had reasonable containers. She'd prefer if we had reasonable for the Cheez Its. There we go. These are what Costco has. They had the bags last time. And then we have the fruit. She likes berries. So we have some blueberries that she picked out, already washed, and raspberries, and blackberries. And then here is the croutons. We have croutons terribly so that they stay nice and crisp. Now the time's about 5.50. At 5.50 is when I start my pizza. So it takes about 12 minutes in the air fryer. Then I go up and wash. By the time it's done and I'm done washing, I come back downstairs. It's done. So keep it warm for a little bit. And I'll be ready to eat. Set temperature to 3.50 for 12 minutes. By the time I come downstairs, after cleaning up, washing, it'll be ready. Now you can see the pizza has been finished. I came back downstairs. One thing, it's still a little warm. It's still pretty warm, actually. A little too hot for me to eat. See, there we have a poured glass of oat milk, the pizza. And the other thing we have are the daily supplementals that I take with. That's why I'm drinking the oat milk. Well, it's to help with the calcium, actually. First, I'm going to take the uh, supplements. Jaw 
In addition, Happy Healthy Wife usually cooks prayers for the kids. Today, it's fried rice from leftovers from yesterday. <laughs> Lovely vibes we're having. <laughs> So now the pizza's at a nice, comfortable temperature for me. It's not too hot, not too cold. And usually, recently I'm getting down in time so we can eat together as a, a family, but not always. Sometimes I'm too late and the kids leave first. Get that out of here. So this is our morning, and I'll see you at lunch. That's how healthy wife went out. That breakfast routine is not very healthy to say the least. It was mostly done for convenience sake because the pizza, nice and convenient, easy to do, put it in the oven, a few minutes later, it's ready. Whereas that's a good routine and easy to do if I need to go on the go, it's better to have some healthy food that isn't so greasy and just empty calories. So I'm going to go back to a routine I used to do, used to work on, when COVID and even before COVID. Because the reason why I used to do pizza, because I don't have to eat it in the house, I can eat it on the go. But now I don't have to eat on the go anymore. You can see I was just eating my kids. So instead, we're going to go back to my old wheat cereal routine. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So you can see here in the refrigerator, I'm going to take out the milk. And it has to be oat milk now. Oat milk because I cannot digest any other kind of milk. I tried the lactose-free milk. It did not work. Um, I have done soy milk, and that's fine. But the oat milk, because it tastes pretty good and doesn't have the added vanilla and it's actually pretty healthy. It even has the calcium in it. And I'm gonna also take out these berries. You can see these berries. We don't always have the berries, but today I have the berries because my daughter uses berries in her lunches. So I have some berries I can add to my cereal, which would be nice. And of course the breakfast wouldn't complete without the cereal. And in this case, the cereal is going to be this shredded wheat right here that's what i use it's a generic brand of shredded wheat that's usually better i think because it's cheaper and we're just going to use this shredded wheat with the milk to make our breakfast now some of don't always have like i said don't always have the berries today i have the berries but if i don't i've got the bananas here in case i'd rather have bananas or if we have some bananas there's also a dried cranberries that was mainly my standard for a long time if I didn't have the fruit i go with the dried cranberries Well, well, that's probably about one serving of the cereal, honestly. Got the cereal. Got to shake up the milk. Because it's oat milk, you definitely have to shake it up. I had to get cow's milk a long time ago. Because it makes me gassy in the afternoon. Can't have that. Now often this was soy milk, but I found that the oat milk actually has fortified calcium. I'm looking for calcium to be in there as well. And then today I'm going to add in the berries. So with the wheat, it's got hopefully some fiber in there. Help with digestion. Of course, could have added metamucil for more digestion. I'm just going to add in some berries to go on top. And I like my shred wheat to be soft. So I like to let the shred wheat kind of soak for a minute. For a bit. So I can have soft shredded wheat. And some berries. If it wasn't berries, it would definitely be at least the cranberries. So that should have softened up the wheat nice for me. So now I'm ready to dig into my breakfast. So it brings out some nutrition, some sweetness that you wouldn't normally get. Makes a very nice taste to add addition to the cereal. Bananas work well too, and so do the cranberry.
And that's my breakfast routine. All right, so it's nutrition time. So I open up the lunch. Oh, I forgot to mention, also had some leftover fruit from dinner two nights ago, and that's part of the meal. But you can see we got, here it is, trail mix. Well, homemade trail mix, let's put it down. Not really homemade, but I took some mixed nuts and added to it the dried cranberries to make a nice little trail mix. So let's have a little bit of a snack just to tide me over between the nutrition time and the lunch time. I finally get too hungry if I don't eat a little bit in between. That's it, just three handfuls of nuts. Cow it up. Save it for later, because that's more than enough. Wash it down with a little water. Students think I put coffee or something hot in here. No, it's just ice water. And that ties me over for another two hours till I get to lunchtime. It is time for lunch. So, let's take out the lunch. I don't always um, keep it zipped up down there. Got the leftovers from last night's dinner. Fruit from two nights ago. Keep that in there. Uh, this is like extra if I want it. And then I don't always eat everything. But I do usually start with the, the main course, the chicken. Oh, chicken plums. Chimichurri. I don't usually have chimichurri made it recently. Uh, it made me a salsa, but this chicken, the chimichurri, works really well. Hold on, let me knock in. Or two, I keep them over there. Uh, also, let's go ahead use some hand sanitizer. Sometimes I go to the bathroom, sometimes like today, it's just hand sanitizer to wash my hands before eating. That was a lot of hand sanitizer. I also like using napkin to eat with when I do the chicken. I think it's sandwich I wouldn't do this, but I'm doing chicken, so we're gonna I'll go ahead and uh, use a napkin to take out the chickens. No microwave, just straight cold chicken today. Usually I don't microwave my leftovers. Anyway, so this chicken didn't have much flavor. It looks like it does, right? All those spices on it. Looks like it had some flavoring. But it was really mild in flavor. It's supposed to be citrus lime. Citrus lime. Citrus lime and garlic. Didn't have much flavor, so that's why chimichurri helps a lot. My chimichurri is not the standard chimichurri. I didn't have parsley. The store I was going to didn't find any parsley, so I used cilantro. But it's very good. It's good, really good. So we take the spoon, put it back home, take it back home, wash it, and be ready for tomorrow if I use it tomorrow. Take the containers home, wash them out. 
nice fruit. Have some honeydew in here. Honeydew. Banana? I might save that for later. Maybe won't even eat it today. Buy a little maybe dessert. And that's it. That was my lunch. Might have a banana later. Might have it tomorrow. Oh, I'll wash it down with some water. See you at dinner. After I come home from work, one of a few things might happen. So on some days, what happens is I've already prepared something that a happy, healthy wife could put either in the meal fee or in the oven like a casserole. And on those days, all we do is come home, pretty much sit on the table and eat. Or I might add some salad or some quick and easy vegetable dish to add. But on a day like today, when I come in a little earlier, something different happens. Um, the Happy Healthy Wife knows what I'm going to be cooking, so what she might do is in this case, this is for the beef broccoli, and she's already prepared, as you can see, the broccoli dish for us. The broccoli part. We're going to do the beef part as well, so that's been stir fried first. Also, the second dish with a chicken and tomato and garlic, which is a very lovely dish, but the family really likes it. And she has prepared the tomatoes for that one as well. So those two things have been prepared. So what now is my turn to do is to take a look where we got the, the beef here and the chicken here. So my job is usually to prepare the meat, cut it up, slice it up, and get everything ready. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to take this beef, take this chicken, and get it prepared so we can finish up our broccoli beef. And if you want to see either of these dishes, they are both in the link in the description below. Dishes that I have prepared and put on this channel. So I'm going to finish preparing up the meal, cook it all up, get it ready, and I'll see you back when we eat. So, happy healthy wife also heat up some rice. This was left over from yesterday, but you can see the finished beef dish, beef broccoli, and the finished oh, chicken garlic with uh, small tomatoes. Both recipes are actually in the link below. I have videos to both of them. The chicken one that looks different because uh, in the chicken one I actually cut it up smaller than I usually do. Tried something new. I think cutting it up smaller will probably work out better. Actually. So you might think it's a lot and it looks like quite a bit. Um, we are not, or I am not going to finish this food. Neither am I. We're not going to finish this food as a family. So that's what leftovers for tomorrow. That's tomorrow's lunch. You can kind of see the Thanks. cycle, right? This lunch I had some leftovers, tomorrow lunch I get some leftovers, sometimes it's their breakfast leftovers, just depends on the day. That rice, there we go. I think it's going to slightly better than broccoli beef. Really? Yes, the flavor. I didn't know, I thought broccoli beef was still your favorite. No. Now the audience knows too. <laughs> What about you, Kitty Cat? Which one do you like better? Tomato, chicken. Hmm. Not a big talker. And just. But you still like broccoli, beef, right, Daddy? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to get like there. Hmm. I'm trying to get like there. Oh, this one has also the juice, the sauce. But I probably like. Um, you both have the sauce. Yeah. See if the chicken's good as I remember it. <laughs> the acidity of the, I don't know, the tomato or the chicken makes it better than the beef. Hmm. Yeah, I think I like the chicken better too. Mm hmm. Conversion. <laughs> Alright, so we have now finished. You can see what we've got left. We've got some 
a little bit of chicken left, some rice is still left over, and lots of broccoli beef. Now it's time to set it up, put it into the dish for tomorrow for my lunch. So I'm just gonna take the beef, let the kids have the chicken, they prefer the chicken, take some of the rice, and see this cycle continues. Remember this morning, I had leftovers for lunch, come home, make dinner. Tomorrow, have leftovers for lunch, come home, make dinner, and the cycle repeats. At least this is how the weekdays go. Weekends are another matter. Our daily food routine on weekends looks a little bit different. So I hope you've enjoyed our weekday meal. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button, unsubscribe, and I will see you in the next meal. Maybe I'll do a weekend one.